Whoo, that wind, boy. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Underwater View. I'm your host, Jack. Today, we're going to look at jerk baits. This is one of the other ones that you guys highly, highly requested. So, I got two different ones. I got a Strike King, which is roughly, you know, 7 to $10. And I have a Mega Bass, which is, I think it retails for $24.95. So, we're going to look at the difference between the two. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with this this little Strike King jerk bait. That's just, the, you know, the one that you just get it anywhere. I think Walmart's even got them. So there's only really a couple of ways you can fish these things, these suspended jerk baits. I mean, you can, you can just straight reel it. It tends to not really work that, that well. But that's what it looks like underwater, just straight reeling it. And I'll show you again. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Not too bad at all. But, where these things really shine, I like to reel them down. Where they shine is when you jerk them. And there's a couple of different ways you can work them. You can work them slow, which is the way I usually like to work them. And you just got to figure out the cadence that the fish want. Whether they want it, you know, popped once or twice or four times or whatever. That's the main thing is trying to figure out exactly what they want. So I like to just pop it and let it sit there for a minute. But the other way you can work it is you can really, and I don't have a lot of room out here in this pool, but you can really, really work these things super fast. And the fish, if they're really active, they would go crazy over this thing. Let's see if I can get it back out there again. There we go. All right, let's see if we can work it fast. Let's do it one more time. Hopefully you guys can see that in the camera. Hopefully. Alright, so now I'm going to swap over to the Mega Bass and see if there's any difference. Alright, so this one, here's the, it's the Mega Bass. Let's see, it's the x80 trick darter that's that's the one i picked that thing up at bass pro a while back i really like i like throwing it let's see if i'm just going to straight reel this in like i did the other one to see what it looks like yeah it's not too bad kind of looks like a crankbait i'm going to reel it straight in again All right, now we're gonna flip it out there and work it kind of slow, see what happens. Off the bat, I can already tell there's a, there's a, lot, of, a lot of difference between the, that one and the Strike King. For one, this one dives a little deeper. Two, I think it's got a lot more movement to it. Maybe where the extra. $15 comes in. Don't have a whole lot of room back here to work this thing. All right. Let's try working it fast, see what happens. That looks 
pretty good. Looks pretty good. And you can really, you can really jerk on this thing too. Give it that action. I like using mono with these things because it has that stretch. But when you're working these jerk baits, always make sure when you're popping it, no matter if you're doing it fast or slow, let you point your rod tip back at it. It really gives it that that pop. Didn't quite let it get down far enough. Let's try it one more time since I messed that one up. Look at that thing, boy. It's good, boy. Woo! All right, guys, so that's my take on the jerk bait. Hey, uh, Drop a comment down below and let me know which one you thought looked better or which one you would prefer. Me personally, I thought the Mega Bass looked a lot better than the Strike King. But that's just me. Um, I'm standing up here. I haven't seen it in the water yet. So, appreciate you guys watching. Like always, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you saw. See you tomorrow. Boom.